Uh, good day, culinarians. Um, today we're going to be uh, trussing chicken. Okay. And one of the things before I get started here, whether it's in the kitchen uh, before class or if you guys are doing this at home, however you see my station set up, that's how I want you to set up your station before you get started on, on any project we do going forward. So every every time we have a cooking demo or do something in the kitchen, my station is going to be set up, and I want you guys to set your station up exactly like I'm doing. If you're doing this at home, stop the video. You can have the picture of my, my setup here. Make sure you have all your mise en place. Mise en place as far as equipment and food. So first thing, whenever I handle uh, poultry or seafood, I uh, always like to put on gloves. Um, for those of you that have uh, very large hands like I do, um, I wear an extra large glove. A lot of times it's very difficult to get these gloves on. Um, so I take a little flour, rub a little flour on my hands, that way I can get the gloves on real easily. The reason why I use flour, because if some of the flour gets loose, it goes in a food product, it's not going to hurt anything. Use baby powder, you don't want baby powder in your food. So that's why I'm using the flour here. Helps get the gloves on a little bit easier. So I got my gloves on, ready to go. I got the chicken. On this chicken, I'm gonna do it a little, I'm gonna do it backwards so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But the uh, the feet end, the butt end, actually you want to face it towards you, it makes it a little easier. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the string to trusses. If you go to Live Guides, you'll see another chef trussing the chicken. He'll show you two different ways to truss the chicken. I'm going to show you one way to truss the chicken here. The other way he shows you how to truss the chicken is take the wings off. Um, I'm not going to show you that method because it's the same method except you just put the wings off. So I'm going to show you how to truss this chicken. First thing you're going to do is measure the amount of butcher's twine or string you need. Typically, rule of thumb is three times the length of the product you're willing to trust. Okay? I go four times a little bit more because if you're trussing and you run short of string, you got to stop and start all over again. So I'm okay with having a lot of string here. So I'm going to measure it out. One, two, three, four. So I got about four times measurement. Cut my string there. Get even my string out. Start up by putting the string underneath here. Before you start trussing, look to see if there's anything laying around. There's a little piece of something here. A little extra fat there, I'm just going to cut that off. Okay? We don't need that there. One of the reasons why you're trussing is it's going to make the, the meat a lot more juicier. Okay? Remember, fat is good. Fat helps tenderize. Fat helps give it a lot of flavor. The breast part is a piece of meat usually on here that dries out the most. You got your legs and thighs. You got all this dark meat here that has a lot of fat in it. When you truss it, it all bring it together, so all the juices from the legs and thighs, all that dark meat, will actually base this breast meat right here. It'll keep the breast meat nice and moist. So first thing, got my string underneath the tail end. I'm going to come over. Drop the string down. See how I make the X there? Okay, got an X going on there. The wings, I'm going to tuck the wings under best I can right there. I'm going to bring this string around. As I bring it around, I'm going to turn the chicken so you can see what I'm doing here. Like I said, it's easier if it's facing you, but I'm going to turn it around so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to do it once, twice, Reason why I do it twice on there, because when I pull this string, keep the wings on there, and I pull that string, 
it holds it. it. Makes it a lot easier to tie that knot. So I want to tie a knot on here. You only do it once. When you go to tie the knot, it'll keep coming loose on you. So you get it nice and tight there. Got my knot on there. I'm going to cut the extra string off here. Put it in my trash bin. Remember, whenever you're working, you have your trash bin right there. So I got the chicken all trusted, ready to go. Now, there's several ways. After you truss it, you can put it on a spigot and put it through a rotisserie, or you can cook it off in the oven just like this. If you're going to cook it off in the oven just like this, uh, normally what I'll do is I'll stuff it with something. I'll even put sausage in there. Uh, when I was living in Florida, I got used to cook with a lot of citrus. So I used to stuff grapefruit and oranges inside the birds like this. So when you go to cook it, all that flavor that you're stuffing inside, whether you put Italian sausage, citrus, whatever you have in your herbs, will cook from the inside out and it'll give really intense flavor to this chicken. Okay? So that's trusting the chicken. Thank you.